Shalom. Uh, before I begin this video, uh, first and foremost, um, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kodash, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, and in the name of His Son, and in the Holy Spirit. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, that are still to this very day continually rule very well. Our teachers, our mentors, the leaders of Israel, and um, Shalom to the whole elect that's are continually laboring in this truth, as we're giving it to all in all faith, truth, sincerity. Now, um, you know, I'm here at the job, um, you know, just going through news, news feeds, uh, you know, just uh, looking out for things that are going on in the world, and I stumbled upon this um, this entry in the news feed by RT. And, um, and also, too, before I continue on, um, like I said, I'm at my job. So, you know, excuse me if I had to put the phone down to take care of business. But, um, you know, today's uh, Sunday, uh, March the 4th, uh, 2018. And this uh, entry is dated March the 4th, 2018. So this entry is, is uh, today. All right. So uh, it's like your... Uh, so the headlines here is China wants to take necessary measures if U.S. starts trade war. All right. Now uh, it's like I got to put the phone down for a second. Okay, so uh, the headlines China wants to take necessary measures if the U.S. starts a uh, trade war. And however the spirit allows me to title this video as, I'm going to title it like that. But, um, you know, since this uh, recent news uh, media, you know, reported that uh, Trump started a trade war and uh, concerning the, uh, the steel and the, uh, I believe it's the aluminum. You know, that's just goes to show you that. And first and foremost, I got to put, put this out because, you know, people just look at it and just, you know, just say, oh, well, you know, what Trump is doing is this and that and is outrageous. But what they don't understand is that uh, prophecy is, is in effect, man. All right. Because, you know, these people today in the world, you know, they disregard prophecy. They think that, oh, man, it's just a fairy tale. That's just something that's made up. Well, the thing is that, you know, the things that went on back in the past and that's happening now is making itself manifest. And, you know, the people can't see it because they're blind, man. All right. Yeah, man, the people can't see it because they're blind, man. They're blinded and they don't understand. OK. But when you see things like this going on, man, you know, to us who are in the know, you know, the men of the Lord, you know, our attendance are up, man. And that sends red flags showing you that, um, you know, more things are about to happen. OK. So with this. uh you know, Trump starting a so-called trade war, you know, and China taking a stance on it, saying they're going to take necessary measures. And that just goes to show you that, um, you know, the nations that are in league with uh, America are starting to, you know, you know, that for lack of a better term to put it, you know, their eyes kind of twitching, you know, so to speak, you know, their eyes twitching like, you know, you know, America's going to go, go and do something like this, you know. And that just pertains on the, um, the book of uh, Obadiah, where it speaks about that. And I'm going to get that in a second, but I got to put the phone down for a second. Got to take care of business. Lock you.
All right, I'm back. Uh, but yeah, this pertains on the prophecy. All right, which is people disregard. And um, you know, once once you know, all hell breaks loose, then it'll be way too late. You know, especially two thirds of our people that you know, that's uh completely oblivious to what's going on. But just to read, go ahead and read this article, not to take up too much time, ramble on. Uh, China wants to take necessary measures if the U.S. starts trade war. Beijing is not going to sit idly if Washington's actions damage Chinese interests and will take necessary measures. The spokesman for the National People's uh, Congress has warned. China shrugged off a trade war with the U.S. but is prepared to retaliate if necessary. A former Chinese ambassador to the U.S. and spokesperson, spokesman for the country's parliament, uh, Zhang uh, Zeng uh, Sui, at least how you pronounce it, told reporters on uh, Sunday. China doesn't want to trade war with the United States, Zhang said, but if the U.S. takes actions that hurt Chinese interests, China will not sit idly by and will take necessary measures. The statement comes as U.S. President Donald Trump announced plans to impose an import tax of 25% on steel and 10% on aluminum earlier this week. All right. So uh, China already is taking their stance on, um, you know, on concerning uh, trade war. So, you know, if the U.S. decides to go ahead with uh, starting a trade war with, the, with China, then, you know, that that will be really ignorant. And that will also be very detrimental because uh, I'm going to show you something. Hold on. Now, this is the United States debt clock. Okay. Now, as you can see, it's still climbing. All right. Hold on. You, as you can see, it's still climbing, man. All right. And really, the majority of that debt that's being accumulated right now is uh, from China because, you know, the majority of the things that America imports is from China. So, if America would was to, to uh, start, you know, start this uh, so-called trade war, you know, that's what they call it, so-called trade war with China, then that'd be, you know, a that'd be of uh, one of the nails in the coffin. All right, it's like I put the phone down again. Like you, I'm back again. Oh, fucking demons are messing. The fuck. Bothering me while I'm doing the video. But uh, as you can see, man, the dead clock's still climbing to this very day. Let's see if I can refresh it. Yep. Dead clock is still climbing to this very day. And like I said before, most of that debt is coming from the things that are imported by China. So if they were to start this, man, then, you know, there's no telling what China's going to do, you know, but. Uh, as far as uh, prophecy goes, you know, we already know the outcome of what's, what's going to happen. Okay. Ultimately. Let's see. Uh, I want to skip down a little bit. Uh, earlier, China's uh, Ministry of Commerce condemned Trump's move, saying it seriously damages the mechanisms of the, of the World Trade Organization. The ministry also vowed to work with other affected countries in taking measures to safeguard its own rights and interests, according to the head of the MOC Trade Remedy and Investigation Bureau, Wang uh, Heijun, as cited by uh, Chen Yu. All right. <clears throat> so that's why uh, you've been seeing backlash for what uh, America uh, has been doing. And like I said before, that goes in the prophecy. Uh, but first and foremost, before I get that, uh, I want to get the book of Obadiah, the second chapter, in the uh, fifth verse. It says, Yea, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home 
who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gather unto, unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. So that's why America, you know, is the, the hub, so to speak, of uh, trading. Okay? I'm talking about the U.S., which is Babylon the Great. Okay? And at verse 6, uh, it says, uh, Shall not all these take up a parable against them and a taunting proverb uh, a taunting proverb against them and say woe to him that increaseth that which is not his how long and to him that laid himself with thick clay now uh, and that's the big biggest thing about America America increases the things which are not, which doesn't belong to it and, and really the head the head of America is talking about uh, Esau which Esau is the one that, that runs uh this uh, place, America, but I gotta put the phone down again, so lucky. Uh, back, uh, it said a ton of proverb against them say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long into him that laid himself with thick clay? So, how long is Esau, which uh, that's the so called white man's true biblical nationality, how long is he gonna uh, continue to heap onto himself the, the you know, the, the things which are not his, man? That's why, uh, when it when push comes to shove, you know, America has been known to uh, start you know, different conflicts with these different other nations, man. All right, because they they like to bully everybody, but I gotta put the phone out again so like it. Yeah, so America is uh, always uh, bullying these other nations into uh, pretty much giving up their resources. But, you know, it's going to come to a point in time where these uh, nations are going to stop dealing with America, all right? And which that's also uh, a part of prophecy, which I'm about to get in a second, but I want to get... Uh, this uh, definition of clay, right? Because it's not literally talking about clay, all right? So that word clay is a I but I bought is I think I think it's I bought yet, all right? I bought yet, all right? Which uh, means weight weight of pledges and heavy debts now we see here on the debt clock right still steadily climbing okay you have a little over 20 trillion in debt okay talking about uh america and i can i can equate you know two-thirds of our people in there too because you call yourself americans all right so you know it's also dealing with you all right and um, yes, yeah, so like it says right here, man. Uh, weight of pleasures or heavy debt. So America is in, is in complete debt to uh, not only China, but the rest of the other nations, man. Because Esau has completely 
and dried out this place, America. All right, and it's still seeking to uh, find other resources here in America, even if it has to start start a conflict to get it. All right. <clears throat> so going back to the book of Habakkuk, uh, now we got we know what that thick clay means. Now, let me start at verse six again. It says, "Shall not all these take up a parable against them, and a ton of proverb against them, and say, Woe to him that increase which increase that which is not his? How long?" And uh, which they they're gonna do that pretty soon, man. It's gonna come come to a point where these other nations are uh, completely fed up with uh, you know, America, you know, big body and everybody. And then they're just gonna completely just cut America off, okay? Which is once again Babylon the Great in the Bible, okay? It says into him that laid himself with thick clay. So that thick clay, all right, it's talking about heavy debts, all right? Because the debt of America is thick, it's heavy, man. All right, as you saw in that debt clock, it was it was a little over a trillion a trillion um dollars. Okay. So verse seven says, "Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them, man." All right. Now um, I want to go from there. I want to get the book of Obadiah, the first chapter, which is only one chapter long. In the uh, fifth verse, it says, If these came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the great gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? All right, so that go fo follows right behind the book of Habakkuk, which I just read concerning Esau, you know, which um, increases that which is not his. Okay? And he just completely uh, increases what is not his, and he just completely runs the, uh, the land dry. All right, and that's exactly what this uh, so-called white man has done, Esau. All right, he's ran this this land dry. All right, and um, and he seeks to other nations to to get to uh, and to basically sustain America. And you know, these other nations have been dealing with America because of uh, you know, just for the sheer reason of business. Okay. Now, verse six it said, "How are the things of Esau searched out? How hard is his things sought up?" All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. All right, and that's right. There is none understanding in Esau. All right, never has been, and it never will. Okay. That's why uh, these uh, other nations that were at peace with America, that was peace with Esau, right? Which once again is the head, the uh, the main operators. Or the main head of, of America. That's why the ones that that were at peace with America, all right, and um, that has uh, dealt with America, all right. The scriptures say that um, they prevailed against against America, all right. So it's gonna come to a point in time pretty soon to where um, everything that America has gained through imports is gonna be completely cut off, man. All right. So they that have, they that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is not understanding in them. Okay. So the ones that were confederate with with America is gonna uh, break away from American ties and uh, look to their own. Okay. And that's the time it was we're coming up into pretty soon, but. That's just one step closer, which uh, concerning the article. That's just one step closer to uh, sh just to show you that prophecy is still in effect, and it's right here in front of your face. And it's even it's gonna rev up even more, and it's gonna speed speed out of control to the point where everything is gonna fall through. Okay. So with that, uh, that pretty much wraps up the the video. Uh, Slack it once again that I had to put the phone down multiple times. You know demons come up and dis disrupt the word and disrupt the prophecy and, and disrupt you know the, the things that we do man you know it's just uh and that's just saying that word man of course you know Satan got to do his thing and try to handle the word but this word is still going to get pushed out full force starting with the apostle it was a great millstone on down and it's not going to stop until this kingdom of america which is babylon the great in scriptures is completely thrown down okay so with that, uh, once again, I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai Raha. Uh, 
Guabaha, Rachar Kodash, which is uh, and in the Holy Spirit. And uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that are uh, that are still doing this thing, this this work, this uh, this truth that's still pushing out this ministry uh, full force for years and years on end. And uh, much due honors and uh, shalom salutations to the whole elect that's uh, also continually laboring in this truth. That's a giving it also giving it to all in all faith, truth, sincerity. And with that, we'll say shalom.